Welcome to another video on Bichette's disease. A Turkish dermatologist called Hulushi Bichet first described this condition in 1937. Bichette's disease is a unique kind of vasculitis because unlike other kinds of vasculitis, it affects both arteries as well as venules. Exact pathogenesis of Bichette's disease remain unknown, but it is said to be associated with HLA B51. HLA is responsible for coding cell surface proteins that are responsible for regulating immune system in human body. Individuals with HLA B51 are hyper responsive to certain microorganisms such as Helicobacter pylori, herpes virus, hepatitis virus, etc. As a result of this cross reactive immune response, T cells are activated and they recruit neutrophils, which are later seen infiltrating the vessel walls leading to vasculitis. Bichette's disease can affect blood vessels anywhere in the body, giving rise to a wide range of symptoms, out of which oral ulcers are the universal one. Oral ulcers seen could be aphthous ulcers or herpetiform lesions, which are painful and take a longer time to heal, at least about 10 to 30 days. Genital ulcers are other common manifestations seen in about 60 to 80 percent of cases. It could be seen around vulva and labia in females and in scrotum in males. Skin lesions are another common features and could be seen in the form of erythema nodosum or acneform lesion. Ocular involvement is quite common in Bichette disease and could be in the form of anterior or posterior uveitis or sometimes retinal vasculitis. Sometimes there is neurological involvement resulting in manifestation of pyramidal signs, cranial nerve lesions, brainstem symptoms, or hemiparesis. Sometimes weakened vessels give rise to aneurysms. Complication of Bichette's disease is associated with either neurological involvement or rupture of vascular aneurysms. Diagnosis of Bichette's disease is made upon the clinical signs and symptoms based on this criteria which confirms the presence of Bichette's disease with diagnosis of recurrent oral ulceration with presence of at least two of these four conditions, such as recurrent genital ulceration, eye lesion, skin lesion, or positive pathology test. Positive pathology test is a unique feature of Bichette's disease. It involves pricking of skin with a needle and looking for evidence of postural development within 48 hours. Positive pathology test indicates that the skin lesion or ulcer is resistant to healing. It is important to note that positive pathology test helps to confirm the diagnosis of Bichette's disease, but negative pathology test doesn't mean that Bichette's disease doesn't exist. It means that the condition isn't active enough to produce a pathology reaction. Apart from Bichette's disease, positive pathology test can be seen in another condition called pyoderma gangrenosum. Treatment of Bichette's disease is directed towards immune suppression. Topical glucocorticoid preparation can be used for oral ulceration. Similarly, colchicin can be used for erythema nodosum and arthralgia. Thalidomide is also used for resistant orogenital ulcers in Bichette's disease. Though its exact mechanism of action for Bichette's disease has been largely unknown, it is believed that thalidomide decreases neutrophil chemotactic action and cell-mediated immunity. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with us for more videos like this.